and welcome to the Barrett Tempe community. My name is Christian, I'm a senior studying computer science and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Hello, my name is Delaney. I'm originally from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm a senior here at ASU in Barrett studying biological sciences in Spanish. Hello, my name is Tyler. I'm a senior here at ASU in Barrett studying biomedical engineering, and I'm also a pre-med student, originally from Gilbert, Arizona. Today, we're gonna to be your tour guides. On this tour, we're gonna to show you some of the amenities and resources offered to both on and off campus Barrett students. Keep in mind that this tour was filmed during break, so there's very few students around. Established in 1988, our Honors College has been housed in many locations on ASU's Tempe campus over the years. The complex you're about to see was built in 2009, and at this time, was the only four-year residential Honors College in the nation. There are nine buildings, eight of which are residential, including lounge spaces, laundry facilities, and classrooms. The ninth building is called Honors Hall and serves as the community center within Barrett. We'll start our tour in Sage Hall South, one of the eight residential buildings in the Barrett Complex. The first floor of this building has classrooms and faculty offices, while the second floor and above houses students. Barrett faculty teach the first year Honors Seminar course, The Human Event, as well as special topics courses of their own creation. As you can see, our classrooms are set up in a square or in a circle so the students are having a conversation with each other rather than listening to a PowerPoint or listening to a lecture. There are 14 classrooms just like this throughout the Barrett community. You can explore honors courses as well as our faculty bios on our website. The first floor of the building next door, called Sage North, houses our staff and dean's offices. This means that all the Barrett staff and faculty can be quite involved in our honors community. Now that you've seen the academic side of our residence hall, we're going to take a look at the different room options you'll have available in your first year. Barrett students can choose to live on an interdisciplinary floor, meaning you live with all majors, or you could choose to live on a specific floor for business, engineering, design and arts, or even sustainability. The sustainability floor is called SHAB, which means the sustainability housing at Barrett. What you see here is the most common and most abundant housing for a first year student at Barrett. It's the shared room, shared bath. That essentially means that each student shares the bedroom with one other roommate and has a bathroom in the middle, which the four suite mates share. There are several other room types for first year students to choose from. Outside of the lounge spaces in each residential hall, the main social area in Barrett is Honors Hall. The first thing you see in Honors Hall is our front desk. This desk is staffed 24-7, 365 days a year, even holidays and breaks. If you lock yourself out of your room or just want to borrow games or cooking supplies, this is where you go. Just beyond our front desk is the Burning Bee Cafe. The Burning Bee Cafe is one of six Starbucks locations on campus and displays student artwork throughout the school year. Across from the Burning Bee, you'll see students studying, playing ping pong, or just generally hanging out in our lounge. This area is open 24-7 and is one of the most used spaces in our community. Just down the hall from our social lounge is the Barrett Dining Hall. Food is served from this area in an all-you-care-to-eat or buffet style. Our dining hall is unique in that the servery is separate from the seating area. This means that if you don't want to use a meal swipe, you still have the options to sit with your friends while they eat. It also means that when the dining hall is closed, the seating area is still open for students to use. In the evenings, you'll see students studying and having club meetings in this space or even playing music on our baby grand piano. Arguably the most loved space in our dining hall is the refectory, or as most students call it, the Harry Potter room. During the day, it serves as a quieter seating area for the dining hall, and in the evenings, there are often events and guest speakers in this space. Now let's take a look at the resources that are on the second floor of Honors Hall. This floor is a combination of advising offices and student spaces. The Baird Advising Office is a resource that every student will use throughout their time here. Your Barrett Advisor helps keep you on track for earning honors credits and connect you with resources at the Barrett and Greater ASU levels. The other office on this floor is the Lorraine W. Frank Office of National Scholarship Advisement, which helps students apply for nationally competitive awards like the Fulbright, Rhodes, and Goldwater Scholarships, among others. This office serves the entire ASU community but is conveniently located here in Barrett. The rest of this floor houses a quiet study lounge, our honors thesis library, and the Barrett Writing Center. Our Writing Center is a free resource for all Barrett students to get help with any written assignment they're working on. It's staffed by current Barrett students, so the Center is particularly helpful with human event essays. Now that you've just seen what's offered on the inside of Barrett and the many resources available to students, let's see what happens on the outside, the beautiful Barrett Courtyard. 
Most of the Barrett buildings surround a central courtyard which is called the Barrett Great Court, which you see here. This space hosts large events, including family weekends, alumni reunions, the Honors Thesis Symposium, or even the Passport to Barrett, which we have at the beginning of every year. On the day-to-day -day basis, this space provides a place for Barrett students to just hang out, relax in this great Arizona weather. You'll see students studying, eating outside, playing pickup games of soccer or frisbee, or sometimes even professors having their classes out here. After students' requests for hammocks a few years ago, the Barrett Deans added permanent hammock posts throughout the community, and you can borrow a hammock from our very own front desk if you don't happen to have your own. Another favorite place for Barrett students hang out is in the volleyball court. Similar to the hammock posts, this volleyball court came to be through a student initiative. The final space we'd like to show you is the Vista del Sol apartment complex. Vista is located across the street from the spaces you've just seen, and is where our sophomores through seniors can live on campus. Barrett students live on campus for at least their first two years. Beginning in the sophomore year, students can choose to move into the apartment style rooms at Vista. These rooms come fully furnished and include a full kitchen with washer and dryer in each unit. There are a variety of room styles and price points to choose from, including private room, private bathroom options, as well as shared room or shared bathroom options. After your sophomore year, you can choose to continue living on campus or you can move off campus at this point. The Vista del Sol Community Center is centrally located in the Vista Apartments and serves all Barrett students, even those who live in the first year community or off campus. One of the main amenities in our community center is a 24-7 gym. All ASU students have access to the Sun Devil Fitness Complex, so this is an additional gym just for Barrett students to use. The gym overlooks our Vista pool. It includes a pool with underwater speakers, a hot tub, volleyball court, grills, a fireplace, and lots of seating. Thank you for joining us on this tour. Feel free to reach out to the recruiting and admissions staff if you have any questions. Bye! Bye.